Uh, welcome to my channel uh, li through my library. Uh, it's Naomi here and I really need to get something off of my chest, which is why I'm actually making this video right now. Um, I was actually inspired by a live show yesterday uh, hosted by Esme uh, from Bookish Buddies and Mariana from uh, Lucifer's Library. And there was an issue about not being yourself, not being good enough to create content and whatsoever. So I'm actually just going to derive from that a little bit and I'm going to tell my story. So my story once began as the typical rich blonde girl uh, in the neighborhood. I went to school, everything was fine or so it seemed. Uh, I got bullied physically like up until bruises. Um, scratches up until bleeding I got hit by sticks and everything so yeah it was never easy I got bullied like crazy um yeah it's never been easy uh, I'd never had a lot of friends and the friends I thought I had weren't really my friends like I felt like they were just with me because of or out of compassion rather than because they genuinely like me I never had much luck with love either um, once I went into high school, I never had many friends either. Um, the physical abuse stopped, like the bullying, but then it started mentally. I was a Dutch whore, uh, all the kind of nasty things they were calling me. I was a fat kid uh, because I sought comfort in food rather than uh, being extremely active, which I was before in middle grade. In middle school, um, so yeah it's never really been easy for me i was uh, a typical outcast i couldn't really talk about what i liked with anyone so i saw my refuge online and there is where i met the current boyfriend of mine and he actually uh, abused me mentally he cut me off of all my friends i couldn't meet up with them um, on top of that he catfished me three times so it was a very tough time it lasted for like six years and in high school also we lost our home we got poor um, we lived pretty much outdoors in a caravan like with five people two two cats at that time it was extremely difficult and I had no one to go to school didn't comprehend my situation at all um, they even downgraded me for not being not for not taking for example my expensive calculator which I just couldn't afford and didn't have and that's actually uh, when my suicidal thoughts once came up. Um, I didn't want to live anymore. Because of that, it was a very dark time. And even when I think about it now, uh, I can honestly say that the Lord of the Rings books, the, Nar the Chronicles of Narnian books and uh, the Harry Potter books actually saved my life. They kept me sane, sane throughout this entire period, even though my thoughts were very dark. But I... They were like my friends. Um, I didn't have any physical human being friends or pet friends really. Because I didn't get along with the cats. I am a cat lover though. But yeah, I didn't get along with them very well. Um, but I uh, sought my refuge in books. And books have been my solid rock throughout everything ever since. Eventually we got out of that situation after terrible nights of sleeping in minus... Uh, zero degrees like minus two minus three temperatures it was freezing it was horrible and then I got in the home I'm currently living in with my sister which is extremely cramped up and the rest of my family of course but it's my sister's bed you're seeing behind me it's extremely small because I'm in my chair which you can't really see and there's my sister's chair it's never been easy it's incredibly small uh, i always compare my situation right now like a bird in a cage and now that i've finally found a home um i feel like escaping that cage i can finally spread my wings and go out okay yeah and now i t i found my boyfriend i'm happy we've been together for five years um once we're all settled on everything we want to start with kids and yeah that's actually a good ending but at the same time, I'm still extremely insecure. I've studied a couple of things. I'm currently working as a nurse. So yeah, I did complete that, but I'm incredibly insecure. Hence why I don't create a lot of content, um, which is why I'm insecure to actually talk in front of a camera, as you can tell probably. And also why I don't 
get to film a lot because my sister is behind me she doesn't want to be in view uh, of the camera at all and like yeah it doesn't make it very easy to go through all this, those things because I want to be able to express myself and talk to you guys and discuss things and talk about books but I just can't yet um, but upcoming summer uh, I will be moving so hopefully I will be able to create more content then but actually the purpose why I'm telling you this story is that everybody's got a story everybody can create content create whatever you like whenever you want never feel pressured we are all beautiful regardless of size or anything um, as I've been bullied for my nationality and being the odd one out I'm sure I'm not the only one but know that you're not alone you're a beautiful indiv individual you're precious to anyone um, and everyone because we all have a part to play in this world or at least so I believe and everybody is beautiful in their own way uh, equality is henceforth a, something that means a lot to me like a lot like it's kind of my I don't know how you say it in English but in the Lion King you've got Hakuna Matata equality is my my word so to speak that I live by my quote so yeah that's that and I just really wanted to let you let you guys know that create whatever you want you're part of this wonderful book community whether it is in the comments whether it is just by posting an average big picture every so often or a great picture or a picture you're in where you're in your pajamas just holding a book who, who cares you're enjoying reading and that's something that should be shared anytime all the time and just enjoy it if that's what we are doing here we are enjoying reading we are enjoying reading books and i hate it's so sad and so heartbreaking to see that some people are so nasty towards others and that just breaks my heart because i haven't really had nice people in my life and now that i do i value them like i've met some of the most wonderful people online here and i can tell that they're great friends already and I hope they see me the same way. I can't talk for them just for myself. But I love them very, very much. And they know who I'm talking about. Um, they know who they are. And yeah, just so just be you. Just create whatever you like. Uh, it doesn't have to be top notch and everything. We all have to grow in what we're doing. But as long as you're liking it, as long as you don't feel pressured, and as long as it doesn't feel like a chore, just go ahead and do it. Because now is the time. Now you gotta do it. Maybe you can do it as well in 10 years. But what have you been doing? Uh, what kept you hold off in your cage? What kept you blocked from doing it? Get rid of that block. If it's your insecurity, I know that's a very difficult thing to get over. But just do it. You're doing this for yourself, not for nasty uh, people who are commenting. Or the lovely people even. You're doing this for yourself because you like to discuss about things. So, and that's something that I actually took along from the live show yesterday. I know it's it's a very brief, brief story of uh, everything I've been through. Very, very briefly because it's been rough. Incredibly, incredibly rough. Where I've been incredibly lonely. Um, and since the commu this bookish community, I don't feel lonely anymore. Or not as often as lonely. Uh, there are still times I do. But that's part of life. And... We'll get along with it. We'll have to move forward. And so be it. So yeah. That's that. Um, just know you're precious. In, as your own, in your own way. Whether you're gay, straight, uh, non-binary. Uh, you, I mean, whether you've got a different ethnicity. A different skin color. It doesn't matter. You're precious in your own way. As your own being. And the choices you make yourself. Create who you actually are today. And that's and not your skin color will tell you that, not your nationality will tell you that, not uh, whoever you prefer to to fall in love with. Um, that all doesn't matter because it doesn't change you who you are in your inside, and it's that core that I love so very much. And everybody should actually appreciate everyone for being honest. And I think I'm gonna leave it there because I can keep on rambling on about it, but. Yeah, just know that you're very, very special in your own way. And never, never let anyone get you down. 
because you are who you are and who you want to be because that's the person who you should be and that's the person who should be living your life you yourself nobody else so live it to the fullest live it your way and make it something beautiful i hope to see you soon bye